Hello everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. I'm going to do a reading on Jamie Fox and Katie Holmes. Um, I think that'd be kind of a, a fun couple to do. They've been around for a while, in and out of, um, like, it, it's a little bit of a, um, how she say it, like, she was married to Tom Cruise. I don't even know what happened there. Just abruptly she divorced him. Um, so she was married to him and I know Jamie Fox was... Um, uh, like really good friends with Tom Cruise. So, um, okay, this is the way I'm going to, I think, run it from now on. So I've got three, I think I'll do three couples. I'm going to, I've got three couples lined up. So underneath in the comment section, I'm going to put the three couples. Okay. And then you guys can like which couple you want me to read next. So I'll list three of them. And the more, the most likes on that couple I will, that will be the next reading. Okay. So, so, um, uh, I hope that works. Someone said, go into the community section of, um, YouTube and you can put a comment there, but I, I don't, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you know what? I have a 16 year old who's my tech support. <laughs> I used to be very tech savvy, but I've now have a 15 or a 16 year old that knows how to do everything when it comes to hooking things up and so um, he's not home to be my tech support today so that I think that's what I'm going to do so under the video where you comment just like which couple you would like me to read next and I'll list them underneath okay all right so um, Katie Holmes and Jamie Foxx I think is a really nice couple all right he loves her I don't know how long they've been going out for but he not only loves her he takes care of her and respects her it's like when I think about Jamie Foxx it's like Katie Holmes is my girl she is my woman and I feel like Jamie would defend and protect her to the end um and she sees that and realizes that like I think they both have a really good respect for each other I don't think they did anything shady behind um, Tom Cruise's back. Now, I'm not bringing Scientology into this. Um, I don't I don't know anything about Scientology. Uh, like, it's not that I'm not bringing it into it, but I mean, I've been watching A&E's, um, uh, what's it called? The um, documentary on Scientologists by Rhea, uh, Rhea Remini. And oh my God, like, it's like, I cannot believe Tom Cruise can buy into this stuff and John Travolta and all those movie stars and all these people. I mean, I'm sure it is good to some degree, but holy moly. So I think Tom is very deep into this. And so uh, I feel that I think it got too much for Katie. Like they're, they're like it just it's I I don't know if that's what got bizarre because I remember back in the day when Katie Holmes and him got together. And he was so in love with this woman, okay? But I think she is more grounded than he is. Like, this is not about Tom Cruise, but Tom Cruise is a Cancer. She's a Sagittarius. Cancers are a little bit more dreamy. They're more emotional. Sagittarius is passionate, move forward. You know, Sagittarians, I'm a Sagittarius. You know, we've got a bow and we've got an arrow and we aim it at what we want and we shoot for it she's, she's, I feel more grounded than Tom. You know, um, Tom, I feel can be kind of convinced by certain things. So, uh, I feel whatever happened in this relationship between her and Tom, it's like, um, it was like an explosion. It was like, all of a sudden, it's like either she saw something she didn't like, or she was asked to do something she didn't want to do or whatever. And it was over the top and she was done. And it's like, boom, out of here. I, I get this. I get this feeling from Katie Holmes. It was like, I'm done. I'm out of here. So she left. Okay. Whatever happened here, she left and she took the child with her. Usually in Scientology, the child stays with whoever's, you know, in Scientology sort of a thing. Right. Um, so, okay. So anyway, so I feel that Jamie Foxx, and her were legit. I don't think that they snuck behind Tom's back. I feel Jamie's a very good support for her. All right. And I feel they want to keep it low key and they want to keep it um, under wraps. And it's between them. They love each other very much. They're a very solid couple. She's grounded. And even though he's a comedian and he's fun and he's very ground, uh, very funny, he's grounded too. In life, he's stable. And I feel he's sensible and gives good advice and they're, they're there for each other. So I feel like 
even though they have a relationship, they have good, strong friendship. So I always like to say, when you are in a relationship, and if it's just sex, and if there's no sex left in the marriage, is there a friendship? Is there a relationship? Some people don't have that. So when there's no sex, and they have a good friendship, the relationship will last. So I feel that, all right, okay, so these two can have uh, a well-rounded relationship. And I really feel it is. It's very well-rounded. It's like he treats her like a princess. All right? Um, like dotes on her. And like, this man loves her. He really does. It's like he truly cares for her deeply. And I don't know if Tom did something to her, but it's almost like he's trying to um, heal her wounds. All right, help her um, get past whatever happened here in the marriage. So um, I'm not saying Tom's a bad guy. I just feel like there was some sort of a damage that was done here um, between them, between her and Tom. So um, I think to some degree he does understand Tom. Like they were good friends for a very long time, right? But he's very, like, I don't know. I really like this relationship. I really like the vibe. I don't feel like they have any words as in fighting um, or uh, arguing about things. I feel like they're on the same page when it comes to morals and values and friendship and knowing what you want. Like they both want the same thing out of life, all right? They want companionship and mutual respect for each other and, you know, uh, a nice friendship, you know, just a nice, loving, committed relationship. And they're very cautious, you know? I, I And I also feel like she doesn't want to say anything to hurt him and he doesn't want to say anything to hurt her, you know? Um, they, they, it's like they look out for one another. It's like she worries about him, then more than she worries about herself. Just like he worries more about her than he does for himself. He's a protector. It's like a protector, provider, you know, um, supporter. I like Jamie. I like, I like his vibe. I feel like he's either been raised with really good moral values or uh, just under, he maybe understands women. I don't know. So uh, nice. I like it. I like this relationship. So what I will do is I will go to my cards. I don't know. Uh, I think it, it's very mutual. Very mutual. Okay. All right. Let's just ask about Jamie and Katie Holmes. Like whatever went down here between Katie and Tom, I feel only a few people know and he knows. Like, Jamie knows and has been helping and nurturing her. All right, Jamie and Katie. Jamie and Katie. I don't even know what his sign is. Let's just see here. Jamie Fox. Birthday. 1967, so he's about my age. Ah, they're both Sagittarians. All right. December 18th is her birthday. He's December 13th. He's 51. And she was born in 78. So 51 and she's 40. So she's, he's got 11 years on her. I think Tom, yeah, Tom Cruise is a little bit older. All right. What are the messages regarding Kate and Jamie? I knew it. Kate and Jamie. Kate and Jamie. All right. So what are the messages regarding Kate and Jamie? We have the fool. This is about fresh hope, it's taking chances, it's new beginnings, it's travel. It's like um, taking a leap of faith with these two. They've been together for a little while now. I feel like they've, you know, it's just been kind of kept quiet. And as it's just go slow, go slow, and it keeps growing. So the fool is about um, having faith in this relationship and growing and having new beginnings. There's the two of cups, my friends, two of cups. Two of cups is the minor card, uh, the lovers is the is the um, major arcana. This is the minor. This is about two people who feel the same for each other, mind, body, soul. 
all right, that they connect. This is past life connection. They truly have a very nice connect connection. It's romance, love, uh, partnership, proposal, marriage. I don't know if they'll ever get married. I think they're pretty happy with the way things are right now. And then we have the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups is about friendship, reunions. This is about... Um, Knowing someone for a long time, it's nostalgic, it's innocence. Really nice. I'm not surprised about this. Okay. All right. What? It's very glary. There, maybe that's a little bit better. All right. What does Katie feel for Jamie? What does Katie feel for Jamie? If you guys are new to my channel, what I do is I shuffle till only one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. More than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck until uh, one card falls out. Okay, Katie and Jamie. What does Katie feel for Jamie? Jamie? Alright, Queen of Swords. She is a truth teller. All right. This is typically an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra female. She is not. She is a Sagittarius woman, but this woman is a truth teller. Okay. This woman, um, uh, she is uh, logical, self-sufficient. She's truth telling. This woman, okay, this woman in the deck is the bitch. I know, I know I'm, I, it's not a nice word to say, but she is the bitch of the queens. Okay. So, she will come after whatever you um, are, sorry, she will attack whoever comes after what belongs to her and she will defend to the death. <laughs> this woman here, she's fierce, okay? All right, so then we have the priestess. And the priestess is, the high priestess is about mystery, intuition, trusting yourself. Um, she has an intuition about Jamie. And she's following her intuition. Something tells her, like, you know, go to him. Or something tells her you're attracted to him. She follows her intuition, this woman here. She follows her intuition and she goes after what she wants. Or, like, like again, she's a defender and she's an, she will attack you. And she will defend you, defend what, what is hers. All right. And then we have the Three of Cups. And so what does she feel for him? This is Three of Cups is about friendship, celebration. It's a circle of support. Great friendship great circle of support okay let's see what Jamie feels for Kate what does Jamie feel for Katie 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 Like, he'll defend her honor, you know? What does Jamie feel for Katie? Ah, okay. What does Jamie feel for Katie? What does Jamie feel for Katie? What does Jamie feel for Katie? All right, so we have, he feels the same. He is drawn to her and he doesn't know why. He's going with his intuition. All right, the priestess. Let's just see what the meaning, the full meaning is. That is number two, I think. All right. The priestess. Reveals wisdom, intuition, and secrets. The card invites you to honor your intuition and connect with your spirit guides. This is also a time for privacy and discretion. They're both private and discreet. Okay? Um, and you may need to protect a secret or at least keep your own counsel. 
Your inner life is important now and you may be drawn to study and seeking a mentor. So these two are keeping it private and discreet and they follow their intuition. Then we have the Ace of Swords. Where's the swords? All right, here we go. Ace of Swords. All right. The Ace reveals success and breakthrough. With determination and clarity of purpose, you get what you want in work, creative projects, and relationships. Everything changes for the better when this Ace comes into play, but there may be some level of confrontation too. Wield the awesome sword with care. All right. So it's about beginnings, decisions, insight, success, clarity, and intellect. I think this was so slow growing. It's determination and clarity of purpose. Okay. So, and the last one is death. There's some changes here with this. There's changes here. Okay. Death is about big changes. It's endings. It's rebirth, letting go, and moving on. It's like that something is changing in the relationship. It's getting more deeper. It's like, I always call this card like going from a cocoon to a butterfly transforming and changing this relationship changes it went from friendship to um uh romance to love you know and then let's see what we can expect and then now it's bright again oh my god let's try this okay now let's just see what we can expect next three months with these people next three months with jamie and katie what are the messages for Jamie and Katie, next three months. Oops. Jamie and Katie, next three months. All right, the hangman. So nothing will change. Everything's the same between them. All right, so the hangman is about um, wisdom, self-sacrifice. I think he has, there's some self-sacrifice here. Getting you a new perspective on things. Let's see what, that's number 12. Ah, I gotta turn this on, I can't see. 12. All right, while the hangman reveals waiting for a decision or change in circumstances, he also invites you to take a different view of situation as you could find an ingenious solution. The card also says a sacrifice may be needed to break the status and forge ahead. Whatever your decision, you can move forward enlightened. They could be waiting for something, a decision of some sort or whatever the case is. The emperor, okay, this is about respect, Father figure, strategic planning. There's some strategic planning with the two of them. I think they always have to kind of strategically plan how they're going to play things out with the relationship. I think maybe with the media. And then we have the Ace of Spears, and this is about that romance. Okay, it's they want it's 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 hot between them. I feel Ace of Spears. Um, Ace of Spears is it's about. Um, Beginnings, drive, desire, ideas, fertility, it's fiery energy. Inspiration and communication are the gifts of this ace. It is a great omen of success for new work, a great uh, business, creative ventures, and travel. Clear purpose and drive, achieve your desires. As the wand is a symbol of male virility, the card also shows starting a family and an additional meaning is commitment from a male partner. Okay? They're both wands, right? They're both fire energy. I think there's a lot of fire here between the two of them. Okay. All right. So that is the reading on Katie Holmes and uh, Jamie Fox. Again, what I ask you to do is just click like between between the couples that I'm going to list. I'm going to list three. All right. And so I don't know when I'm going to be able to do the next celebrity reading, but at least then um, I'll know which one is most popular okay all right and I'll throw in a couple of Selena and you know Justin ones in there in between too so uh, and if you're interested in a private reading email me I will send you the information on how to get a private reading and uh, I usually get back to you like within like 24 hours so all right everybody thank you for watching I really hope you enjoyed this reading okay bye bye